And here is the writer's almanac for Wednesday. It's the 25th of April, 2018. It's the birthday of the poet Ted Couser, born Ames, Iowa, 1939, went to Iowa State to study architecture, dropped out of that, graduated with a license to teach high school English. One year of teaching was a disaster. He was accepted to a graduate program, University of Nebraska, kicked out after a year because his grades were bad. So he found a job at an insurance company answering letters. He knew nothing about insurance, but it was a stable job, benefits, and he liked the fact that it ended at 5 o'clock every evening. Every morning, he got up at 4.30, made a pot of coffee, wrote poetry in a notebook until 7. Stayed in the insurance business for more than 30 years. In the summer of 1998, Ted Couser was at the dentist who noticed a spot in his mouth that turned out to be oral cancer. He went through a rough period. Decided to send a daily postcard with a short poem to his friend, the writer Jim Harrison, which eventually became the book Winter Morning Walks, 100 Postcards to Jim Harrison. Ted Couser, who said, frankly, there's nothing wrong with sentiment. Sentimentality is very much in the eye of the beholder, and unless you're writing with sentiment, you're not writing at all. Your writing is is cold, cold, and remote. It's better to walk that line. It's the birthday of the novelist Paget Powell, born Gainesville, Florida, 1952. Went off to college, thought he might be a writer. A professor of his thought so too, and gave him a copy of Absalom, Absalom by Faulkner. He read it. He read Flannery O'Connor, Truman Capote, Tennessee Williams. Moved to Texas, worked as a roofer for eight years. His first novel, Edisto, came out in 1984, about a 10-year-old boy on the coast of South Carolina. It got great reviews. And his novel, The Interrogative Mood, a novel composed entirely of questions. It's the birthday of the great jazz singer Ella Fitzgerald, born Newport News, Virginia, in 1917, and the man who gave us the character Uncle Wiggly, the old rabbit in a suit and silk top hat, Howard R. Garris, Binghamton, New York, 1873. Here's a poem for today by Ted Couser, entitled Four Secretaries. All through the day I hear or overhear their clear, light voices calling from desk to desk, young women whose fingers play casually over their documents, setting the incoming checks to one side, the thick computer reports to the other, tapping the correspondence into stacks while they sing to each other, not intending to sing nor knowing how beautiful Their voices are, as they call, back and forth, singing their troubled marriage ballads, their daycare, car park, landlord songs. Even their anger with one another is lovely, the color rising in their throats, their white fists clenched in their laps, the quiet between them that follows, and their sadness, how deep. And full of love is their sadness when one among them is hurt and they hear her calling and gather about her to cry. Four Secretaries, a poem by Ted Couser from Weather Central, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, supported by TIAA. Whether it's investing, advice, banking, or retirement, TIAA is committed to helping those who do good do well. Learn more at TIAA.org. And by Lumosity.com, brain training developed by scientists to challenge memory and problem solving through online games. Lumosity.com. Produced by Joy Biles, assisted by Kathy Roach. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 